Hey guys, how are you? This is Lavjeet Arora. So now we are going to start our array series. So that array series we have discussed how to take the uh, how to take the input from the user and what is array. So in this session we will do some programs that are related to the arrays, one day array. So guys, these are the topics where you need to be focused. Right. So first of all, you should know that how to access the elements in the array, especially in the one day array, because you know that in the ICSC syllabus, you are having there the one day array this year. Right. 2020, we are having there the one day array. OK, so if there will be the 2D array, so that time also you should know that how to access the values from the array. Right. Next is there that is searching and sorting. These two techniques, two, two techniques are there in our Java, in our syllabus that linear search and binary search. Then we are having here the sorting technique, selection sort and bubble sort. OK, so these are the topics where you have to be focused. Right. So let's get started. This is our first program. So the first program is accept 10 numbers in single dimensional array. Display the array element at the event subscript. At the event subscript. So you just understand the program first. Then we will do the code for that. See guys, this is my array. Let me uh, change the color also. See, this is my array, right? So here I will ask the 10 values from the user and user will enter something. Let's say 20, 50, 60, 9, 1, 3, uh, 50 anything okay and 6 right so as we know that there are the index 0 1 2 3 4 7 8 and now my, my photo is there right right okay so I'm making other uh, 9 and 10 here okay 9 and uh, 10 so 10 will be not there because it is total 10 elements so 0 to 9 that we know that right so 9 the element I'm just inserting here that will be 3 okay so guys our program is saying you have to ask 10 values from the user we have to use there the single dimensional array means the one day array afterwards what we have to do we just have to display those elements we just have to display those elements which are on the event subscript right let's say i just uh, i will print there two then the event is what four then six then eight these are the values these are the index values which i will print there Okay, so this is my question. So in that question, we understood that what we have to do. So now be focused on that, how to do the code for that. If you have understood firstly, so now think about the code. Guys, I have there two. So that means my i's value will get start from two. And afterwards, what I have to do, I just have to check that. I just have to check that this index value is even or odd. If that will be even, so that means I just need to print all those elements which are there, the even subscript, right? So this is the program there. So now let's do it practically. I'm just opening my blue J. I have written that program for you. So let it to be open. Okay, so this is my question. I have already done that. Okay, so see guys, this is my uh, util package as you know that why I have taken the util package just I have taken the util package because I'm going to use there the scanner class, right? So this is the reason for that. Next, this is my scanner class and I have declared that the array that size is 10 and the type the type is what in these are type. Okay, so as I have given there 10, so that means the value will be start from 0 to 9. So total element will be what? How many? That will be 10 only. Okay, so now see here in this array, what I'm going to do, I'm just asking the value from the user. So user is going to be enter the value one by one. And with the help of my scanner class object, I'm taking the value from the user and that will be stored one by one in the ith number location. That means that will be stored on the zero to one that we have already discussed in the previous videos when we have discussed that how to do the work with array, how to access the values in the array, right? So see guys, this is the normal thing that I, I, I hope that you people know about this normal thing now. See guys, now here is what, as the question is given that, what we have to do, we just have to print the even subscript only. So that's why I have just started it from two only. I have not taken their zero. I have not taken their one. So I just started it from the two only. Okay, I have skipped do two index values there. So I'm asking here, is it two less than the length of my uh, length of my array or not? If the length, the condition will be true, then we are just going to be enter inside this 
look and here what we are going to do we are just checking for the event right as you know that this is the thing this is the formula that we are checking the value for the even or odd if that particular number will be divisible by 2 completely divisible by 2 so that means that will be even so if that will be even so we will just print that we will just print that right so let it compile this program and see the output okay so here i just have to uh, insert there the values 6 7 8 whatever is there 11 okay 22 see guys these are just going to be print there which are on the even subscript the one more thing is there uh, one more way i can say that to do the same program because uh, we can't say that this is world's last formula for, to do the same program. I can put there i is equals to i plus 2 also. And uh, no need to put that time the if condition. Right. So that time we will just print the same values there. Let it compile this program and uh, see the output now. What will be the output of this? Okay. So I'm just giving the same values there. What I have given, actually I forget 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Then I have given 11 and uh, 22. Okay. So, let it see there. I have just started it from 2 only. Okay. So, see guys. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 22. Yeah. These are the values. That same output we found here. And previously also we found the same output. See guys. The difference is only. Previously I have... I have given there the if condition. But now I'm not using the if condition. I'm just giving there i is equals to i plus 2. This is the thing that we are going to do. Right. So that is the pro uh, that is the program. Okay. So in the next video, we will discuss some more programs. So this was our program. Accept 10 numbers in single dimensional array. And display the arrays element at the even subscript. In the next class, we will discuss there. Accept 10 numbers in single dimensional array. And we just have to find that which one is greatest and which one is smallest. Okay. So this will be the simple code. So guys, meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.